hi welcome to the studentship youtube channel in this video i will share with you study tips and guides for you to pass your exam examination excellently i'm talking about getting a very high score in your utme exam i want to share a story with you i wrote the exam examination for many many years has it there I wrote the jam back to back every year. I kept on reading. If I just, it just as if uh, I was dull or something because I couldn't understand why other students they were getting high scores in their jam. Then I was getting you know two, sometimes even 190, 210, and all of that. I was just you know, circling around those uh, average scores, and I wanted to study a medical course. So I was like, something is wrong, and that was what led me to go back to the drawing board. During my last jam examination, that is the last exam I wrote before I finally got admission into the university, I had to go back to the drawing board to really look at what was wrong, what was I doing wrong, what was, you know, I was trying to identify those things that I could, I could do, you know, to enhance, improve my performance in the examination. And I was able to discover some things. So in this video, I will share with you how you can pass your jam examination. Do it to like this video and click on the subscribe button you can get to see other videos uh, from this uh, channel so the first thing you need is the jam syllabus yes the jam syllabus is a document that contains a list of topics you need to study you need to know for the jam examination many students they study for the jam exam without using the syllabus they, they study randomly they study topics they they just want to study it doesn't work like that you see the jam board has taken their time to compile the topics you know where questions will be asked uh in the examination so you must get the syllabus where you study you no know, topic by topic now the jam syllabus is a guide yes for example you are studying biology you want to study biology you are taking biology in the jam examination you're supposed to start with the first topic, maybe uh, the concept of cell. After that, you go to the next topic. You know, that is how you keep on studying topics in the syllabus. So by the time you are able to do that, you see that you'll be able to pull the order which jam has you know, put out for. So make sure that before you move to the next topic, you've understood the concept in the previous topic. Now, if you don't have the jam syllabus, you don't have any problem. You check the description of this video you are going to see a link to download the jam syllabus now the next thing you need to do is to get the recommended textbooks because jam has recommended textbooks these are the textbooks that you are supposed to use for your jam examinations make sure you get this textbook now if you want to see this textbook you can also check the description of this video and you'll get to see the list of textbooks now, I want to point out something. You don't need to get all the textbooks for each subject because, for example, let's say commerce. You are going to see about 11 textbooks that are listed there by JAM. It doesn't mean you have to get all the 11 textbooks. You need one textbook for preparation. Next is JAM pass question. The JAM pass question is necessary because it's going to give you an idea of how the questions we ask in the examination. Now, you shouldn't make the common mistake of cramming past questions, hoping that on the day of the examination, you are going to see a, an exact replica in your exam. That is not a purpose for the jam past question. The jam past question is a set evaluatory tool to determine your level of preparation for the exam. The past question is something you use to know if you understood the topic. So if I study a topic in chemistry, by the time I answer questions on that topic, I should know if I've understood that topic or there is an area in that topic I need to study more to really get a better understanding. Now, you can get the past questions as a booklet. You can buy the past question in the bookshop. You can get it as free PDF or you can study past question online. But make sure you get that past question and use for your preparation. Because after you finish the topic in the syllabus, I recommend that you check out the questions on that topic and that is how you can succeed with your jam examination the next thing you need to do after getting the jam syllabus the list of recommended textbooks and the past question is to draft out your personal study timetable you know drafting out your personal study timetable is necessary 
because this timetable is where you go to plan your study for example you can decide to assign a subject for each day so you can decide for monday you want to study use of english for tuesday you want to study literature in english for wednesday you want to study commerce thursday crs you know you just draft it based on the subject combination you are taking in the utme exam because this timetable will make you have a purpose for your study so by the time you wake up in the morning you already know this is what i'm studying for the day not you waking up and you know trying to decide should i study a uh, use of english should i study biology should i study chemistry today no that is not how it should be done your study should be planned and that is why you need a personal study timetable so that by the end of the week you'll be able to know if you've been able to achieve your aim your study aim for that week but so ensure you get a study timetable and when you get a study timetable make sure you follow it religiously now going on to the next point is taking off distraction you need to go secure a study environment study in an environment that is void of distraction now it's very easy when you are at home trying to study and they send you errands or you, you know just try to you watch the tv and there are many a lot of distractions and all of that so you must be able to get an environment where you'll be able to study without distraction example is the library public library you can you know go to secondary school close to you or maybe your backyard depending on where you stay and all of that if it can be inside your room but make sure that wherever you decide to study wherever you decide to make your study environment should be void of distraction because you don't want to study in the presence of distraction it's going to affect your performance in the examination now if you are studying in the library or wherever you want to study make sure that you do not go with your phone what i mean not going with your phone i mean your android or your iphone where you get messages from whatsapp from facebook and tiktok and all of that because by the time you are studying there's always this temptation oh shoot let me check my facebook let me check my whatsapp messages so the right thing to do is to check your social media accounts after you study because it's something i learned when i got into the university in my first year when you are studying and you check out your facebook your whatsapp accounts there is just this effect it has on your brain you would not be able to focus for the remainder of your study another thing you can do to ensure your performance is to do research online there are instances where you encounter some topics you can you can't understand you just can't understand the topic but well, you've read the topic over and over again and you still can't understand it now this is where your the internet comes into play you can use youtube to learn you know topics for the jam examination for example chemistry there are tutorials on youtube you know that are explanatory to understand topics in chemistry physics commerce whatever topic you are taking you can use youtube also google is there you can search for topics on google to to, to understand these uh, topics so make sure you use your internet to enhance your preparation for the examination you could also go for jam lesson i mean tutorial uh a good jam lesson but the problem i have with this uh, jam lesson is most of the time uh, effective learning does not usually take place there because most students who go there are only concerned about fashion you know, making friends and interacting with people but if you have discipline you can go to these uh, jam tutorial centers and you you focus so make sure you do it with a lot of distractions so when you go for, for a jam tutorial make sure that you focus on the reason why you are there which is to learn another thing is uh, group study yeah group study can also help your preparation you can you know, get one or two friends who are also preparing for the jam exam with similar utme subject combination you guys can decide to meet once a week to interact with one another to share ideas to share topics because one of the best way to learn is when you explain stuff to people like if i want to learn atomic theory of matter it's when i'm able to explain it to somebody that is when i know yes i know the stuff also make sure you take care of your health because there are students who prepare for the jam exam and they say well for this period i'm not going to eat well i'm not going to sleep well make sure you 
take care of your head. Just as a recap, I want to highlight some certain things. Ensure you get the jam syllabus, study with the jam syllabus, also with the jam recommended test books, and use the past question to evaluate yourself. If you're able to do this, you will see yourself getting high scores in your jam examination. If you have any questions, you need further clarification, let me know in the comments box. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I wish you success in your examination and I, I hope to get good news for you. For now, bye-bye.